Okay, good evening, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's good to have you on this call, the final session of the quarter of the SDG Advocates Program, which is a graduation ceremony today. And I, on behalf of SGS and Nigeria, I want to congratulate each and everyone that have been part, that are part of today's grand final finale. And I believe it's been a long journey and impactful one indeed. Once again, um, I welcome you all to today's ceremony. Right about now, we are starting straight away and we're starting with the national anthem, which is going to be shared. And uh, I believe we are all good patriots and citizens of Nigeria. Let's take the national anthem while the graduation ceremony starts proper. All right, thank you. Okay, once again, we welcome each and everyone to today's call and we want to congratulate each and every advocate that have stayed true to this level and are successful to this level. Congratulations to you all. And this evening, it's going to be the graduation proper and um, definitely we know that we have people that are joining across the, the, let me say 32 states specifically, and they are connecting from various ends. And also we have um, two of our, I think we are, this has this been hosted on two different platforms, the Zoom and also on the YouTube platform. Thank you for joining today's graduation ceremony. It's good to see your beautiful faces and all the way from January to today. It's been a great moment of learning and sharing and great impact across the state of Nigeria. And right about now, we are going to be having, firstly, we would like to have feedbacks. We would like to hear from each and every participant that were part of this SDG Advocates Program. And we'd like to share, those of us on YouTube, please kindly use the YouTube session to drop your, you can use the comment session to drop your feedback. How has the program impacted you? What has changed? What are the new things you've learned? And what do you plan doing in the next coming future? I would just like to take um, two male, two female. Definitely, we are, we are still going to have more of that, whereby we get to share our feelings, we get to share our feedbacks, and how the programs are, the program has really helped us. And uh, also, I would also like to mention that we have uh, we have a father, we have a father in our midst, not just a mentor now or a leader. We have a father in our midst. I'm going to introduce him properly as soon as, soon as we get to, to this very close to the session where he's to speak. Thank you for joining and thank you for always keeping to time. We, are, we appreciate you. Yeah, definitely we are getting to learn over and over from you all over again. All right. Right about now, I'd just like to give it to two males, two females to give us, let's hear from you. What do you have to say? How has the program impacted you so far in the recent past from January to this uh, moment? If you have, if you like to say something, kindly use, you kindly raise your hand. You can just raise your hand while you are being allowed to speak.
Okay, I can see someone's hand up. All right. Um, that's Sarina from Kano State. Can you can please unmute your mic and speak? Sarina, you can unmute your mic and speak. Just two minutes, less than two minutes. We'd like to share your feedback and tell us how the program has impacted you so far. Okay, thank you, sir. Good evening, everyone. As you can see, my name is Abtana Kairi Serena Kano State Institute. I really appreciate and thank God Almighty. I thank Almighty God to be part of this program. And I achieved a lot. I have so many connections right from civil society organizations here in Kano, community based organizations, and other relevant stakeholders part of uh, non-governmental organization. But one challenge I face is uh, in terms of financing while executing our projects. So in your future plan, I need and hope you can do something possible because you cannot just uh, hold your hands uh, watching us without even giving even for us, since you know we have two executive programs on a school project and community project. So you should have to give us at least some kind of stipend so that it can be watershed, it can shed our tears while conducting mm -hmm. our community mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Thank you for that wonderful feedback. We are glad that it's of great impact and most especially to the people in Kano State. Uh, okay, uh, I think it's, thank you for that wonderful one. I don't know if there are other hands up. Okay, I can see a representative from Benway. You can unmute your mic and speak, please. Hello, good evening, everyone. Um, thank you. It's a great privilege to be here. Um, Throughout the duration of the program, with everything we've learned uh, theoretically, everything we've been taught through the YouTube classes, and then over when we went for the live um, activity. Uh, in Benue State, we chose uh, displaced persons, people who have been displaced by the farmer herder crisis. And it is, you know, we were taught during the YouTube sessions that there's absolutely no problem we're facing in real life that are not captured by the SDG goals. So it was, you know, it gave us that realistic feel when we went to that place and we spoke to these people about the SDG goals and it was something they could relate to. So they also interacted with us on a personal level. Now, I think the SDSN network is so impactful that I think there are few avenues in our society today that can help the young people to learn the act of leadership and project management. So all of these skills that we've learned, I intend to collaborate with my co-advocates in the state and do even more in the future. So thank you for this opportunity. We are so glad to have your feedback, our representative from Benue. And I can, let me say this, I wish, okay, Professor Diaka is always after Ben Nerev's um, team, and she's always concerned. She, Professor Diaka is the co-chair of SDS in Nigeria. She was the one that handled the um, on-body session on behalf of the network share. And she always make um, reference to Ben Nerev's state, and I can say that she'll be proud that you guys did excellently well, and you're hoping to sustain your project. All right, we've had two meals. I would just like to, uh, let's have two females. Where are our ladies? What's happening? Okay, I can see a meals and up from Kaduna. All right, uh, our ladies, where are you? I can see mostly meals and up. All right, our representative of Kaduna, you can unmute your mic and share your feedback. Just a moment, please. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Yasser S. Mikhail. I'm team lead from Kaduna. And everybody in Kaduna who participated in this program is very happy and would like to extend 
is deeply appreciation on this program. We all profound and appreciate this opportunity to make impact in our community. Thank you very much, Sustainable Development Solution Network, Nigeria. We are looking forward to seeing our certificate. Thank you. All right, thank you very much for that wonderful feedback. All right, I think I can see someone's hand up. Please, if your name is, if you are not properly named, can you go and do that before you raise your hand up? All right, um, Olua Tomilola, you can unmute your mic and speak. Okay. Okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Okay, so I, I really want to appreciate the founders of this SDG and also SDSN for the great teaching throughout the whole lectures on to split it out into different states, I'm under Lagos State. Then from Lagos State, we have to do our own, own school project and also community project. This, this uh, lecture has really impacted in a way of me knowing how to be a proper leader and also writing a good proposal. As far as for the school project, I had to go to Lagos State. I, I did it. I use a public school, so I can't just do it without going to the proper region, which has to be collecting approval from the Lagos State Educational District. On getting there, I realized that they are aware about what SDG is all about, and we're really glad that I wanted to do it. I wanted to make an impact in my community around me, and they approved. They gave me an approval, and I went to the school. I did that, and although what I found out that not all schools in Lagos State are actually uh, they know what SDG is all about, but at least the school I used, they said they wish they can have someone that can be constantly coming to come and educate the student about the wow. SDG and everything. I wish I said I can do that, but like maybe I have to go back to education and collect another approval for them <laughs> to have, for them to give me a permission to do that because they believe that I can. Because I'm not a teacher, I mean, I may not. So I, you know, it's I'm coming outside of my professions to come and do that. And also, I want to really appreciate my ref, Lagos State ref for the leadership of leadership because we did a community project at Elegushi Beach. And we really saw, we, we did uh, SDG other six, other 14. We, we did live below water. We packed so many deaths that are un, in, unbelievable. I cannot even believe that this is what we saw from the ocean. So really, really a great deal with this SDG. I, I really learned a lot, you know, commitment, teamwork, and tolerance, you know, it, it's just generally about life, not only about SDG itself, but also learn how to work with people in different areas of life. So I, I really appreciate the founder of this pro program and I'm thankful. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you very much, Olua Tomilola, for the wonderful um, feedback. It's good to hear that um, the progress which you made in Lagos and also alongside your state group and all the entire Lagos team. I, think I made a promise that it's going to be two females and two males. I can't see any other female and up. I think I just have, okay, I can see Stella's and up from Edo State. Stella, and that's the last we're going to take for now. Let, later after uh, we have our guests, which we are, we'll continue from there. All right, Stella, you can unmute your mic and speak. All right, good evening, everybody. Um, sincerely, I want to appreciate um, the SDG community. Before now, I never had any idea about what SDG is about. I never had any idea. So when I got the call for proposal um, to join the court, I was really happy to join because a lot of persons, my friends, um, they have been doing community project, but I really wanted to get a first hand information about what the SDG is about. And I'm so happy to join the court too, uh, with like minds in my, um, in my group, the advocates, other advocates, we were able to carry out um, the two projects that is the owner school and the community project. And I say that a lot of things transpired in the in the process, we were able to meet people that we never um, thought of meeting before because of we wanted to do the project. So I really appreciate this SDG for the impact and 
the opportunity to meet with people who are eager to transform their community. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Hester, for that wonderful feedback. We are glad that this project has really helped you. And uh, sorry for those who are still raising their hand, we are still going to take feedbacks from you. And I would also like to keep to the time which has been stated. Uh, right about now, we are, like I mentioned earlier, that we have a father in our midst. Uh, he's not just a leader alone, he's a mentor to many youths and many, not just the youth alone, even the older generation is a mentor to many people. He has blessed a lot of people across activities of sustainable development in Nigeria, in Africa and globally. This evening, we are blessed to have in person of Professor Labo de Pupola, who is the current network chair of Sustainable Development Solutions Network Nigeria. And uh, I would just like to say less about him. Uh, definitely, I know he has a lot to dish and a lot to tell us this evening. Thank you for joining us and thank you for um, honoring our invitation. So we are glad to have you on this call. Good evening, sir. Very good evening, uh, Emmanuel. And, uh, my brothers and sisters on this call this very beautiful evening. <clears throat> I hope you're keeping well. Hello. Yes, sir. thank you, sir. I hope you are all keeping well. Yes. Hello. Yes, thank you. We can hear you, sir. Good, good. So I'm delighted to join you this evening. And uh, from the few testimonies that I have listened to, I'm so excited that some impact is being made. And I can only plead with you to keep this up. Uh, this is the second cohort of the Advocates Project. And I can see that uh, the objective we set for ourselves is already being met. Uh, we can only hope to keep this up. Um, I had someone saying that she didn't know anything about the SDGs, and that's very correct. Many people do not know about the SDGs. If you go to many offices in Nigeria today, people don't know about the SDGs. And the essence of this capacity building effort is for us to be able to escalate knowledge about the SDGs. And as you probably know, uh, we are already into the eighth year of the Sustainable Development Goals as enunciated by the United Nations precisely in September uh, 2015. Uh, we used to have the Millennium Development Goals, which I guess some of you uh, know about. It came to an end in 2015, and the whole world decided that we needed to take some further action and the action was to have these 17 sustainable development goals that address everything about our humanity, everything about our existence, is it poverty, is it housing, is it health, is it education, is it the way we live, is it industrialization? I had somebody talking about life underwater. Is it about the environment? So the SDGs tend to address everything about our livelihood and about our humanity. And so it's expected that everybody should have a feel of it. Unfortunately, that's not what we have. And that's why we have decided to reach out to as many people as possible with this advocate program. And um, the objectives are very, very clear and it's for us to be able to build the capacity of uh, young people like you who carry the news of the SDGs into the nooks and crannies of this country. Uh, in this cohort, I think we enlisted about 1,509 of you, of which about 66% uh, are male and about 33% uh, are female. And I wonder why it's so skewed. Uh, I know that women are always very keen about reaching out to communities, reaching out to families. I'm hoping that in the third cohort, we will have more and more women participating in this. Uh, as we speak, 
the report available to me indicates that yes, you guys have been able to reach out to schools, you have been able to reach out to communities. We want you to keep this up. You will be given your certificates. Yes, the certificates acknowledges the fact that you have received some training, some capacity building in the SDGs, but it's supposed to also egg you on to do more, to strive further, to ensure that the, 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 the news of SDG the stories about the SDGs will reach every nook and cranny of this country. And so on behalf of the Sustainable Development Solutions Network globally and in Nigeria, I want to welcome you to the fold and I want to wish you all the very best. Uh, the first speaker talked about resources to be able to reach out. We agree with you absolutely. Uh, what you need to know is that having been part of this family, we have you on our database. If and when we have any projects around where you live, be rest assured that you will be among those that will be considered to be able to handle this project. Uh, you spoke from Adamawa State. If we have a project in Yola, or have a project in Mubi, we'll have to call on people like you to participate in such projects. So keep hope alive. Be very keen about the SDGs. Be very keen about sustainable development. Please continue to love Nigeria. Nigeria is a great country. It will continue to be great and God will bless all of you. I want to thank uh, Emmanuel for the yeoman's job that he's doing on behalf of all of us. Uh, please keep this up. We very much appreciate you and we appreciate all of you. Very good evening once again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Prof. Thank you. We really appreciate you, and um, I believe it's been a great, it's been a great moment for each and every advocate since the month of January, starting from the month of January. I'm sorry uh, for those who are on YouTube. Apologies that we've not been able to. I'm trying to also connect to see uh, so that to read some of our feedbacks and also share with the entire quote. Though I know that we have more people that are raising their hands, I just want to seek, sir, that we might take another four or two before we go to the graduation Please, professor. please go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, because right. this is their day, actually. It's their day. All right, sir. All right. Thank you very much, sir. So I have, I think I have um, Dockers hands up earlier. Dockers, you can unmute your mic and speak. Those of us that we have our hands off, please, let's note. Dockers, you can unmute your mic and speak, but please make it very brief. Oh, please. I found out that there are some undergraduates of some of my friends who are not about the 17 SDGs, and it allowed like the the two SDGs, Trace the Essence, allowed me to be able to impact them also. Then during our community project, like we faced lots of challenges, but it allowed to improve my coordination skills and it was great like being on the program. Um, then one other feedback I have is that like they gave us a warm welcome, some organizations to welcome. So can we, can the organization give them a certificate of recognition to commend their efforts towards the success okay. of the advocacy? Okay, I think I was going to respond to that. That's one of the things. Okay, let me just respond to that. For each and every organization that supported you, uh, though you know you dropped a letter for them, which is to introduce and to request for their partnership. Definitely, uh, there is another letter that is going to be shared with you, which is an appreciation letter, which details honoring their support. So that is also in place. All right, Anita, we can have your feedback. Can you unmute your mic and speak?
Good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, Mr. Manuel. Can you hear me? We can hear you speak on. Okay. Uh, my name is Anita Ude from Nimo State. I want to thank SDSN for this opportunity. Now, I've actually seen, but I never really got to know the origin. I've not really taken my time to know the origin of SDGs, but this program helped me to really research. After the master classes, I went on my own to do personal researches to really understand the background of SDGs. And it helped me in my own school project because engaging these children, so many of them came up with very intelligent questions. And if I hadn't gone through this program, if it was just like the normal uh, advocacy that I've been on, I don't think I would have been able to answer those questions. So I want to thank this platform for that opportunity, helping me to really understand where the SDG fully. Second, signing up our, our, during our community project, we, we worked on SDG 3, that's good health and well-being, and we had an activity in the market. And um, that activity, I'm telling you, that activity really did a lot to the lives of those that, that we engaged. And I want to thank our leader. He was up and doing. He gingered all of us and we came out and it was massive. So my feedback now is um, these platforms that we've engaged with the school as a personal and individual thing and as a group thing, they are asking for more engagement. Is there a way that the SDSN will be able to probably give us maybe sub grants because lots of us came out with um, innovative ideas, creative ideas, I mean our group, and we have lots of activities planned out. Hmm, okay, okay. To be All implemented right. moving forward. The group to implement more projects as we move on. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Anita. Uh, we just take two more, and the very first one is from OK from Cross River, and we also take from Barack why we move to the graduation proper. All right, OK, you can unmute your mic and speak. OK, hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. OK, OK. Um, I'm Otindam, OK, Jumbo speaking from Cross River State. I want to appreciate SDSN for this opportunity. Oh, my feedback, a quick one, during our community uh, project, this program <laughs> helped us to realize that there's a ministry called Ministry of Sustainable Development Goals in Cross River. None of us knew there was such a ministry in this state. It was during when we were going to the ministry to test for blood pressure, we discovered that there is a ministry like that. So we had to draft a letter for them to tell them that we are coming to visit them officially. And uh, secondly, we discovered that, oh, this uh, project, the well-being, uh, good health and well-being that was carried out under uh, testing of creating awareness on blood pressure, temperature, height, weight, and, and the, the, your heart rate is was very important because so many people were not aware of their blood pressure. In fact, some did not even know that such thing can lead to death immediately. They were not aware. They were so happy that we were given the opportunity to tell them the importance of knowing their vital signs. Then I will let me narrow it down to my school project. I actually had challenges. When I submitted my letter for approval, I met the principal, but she said, the proprietress is very, very, um, that she's very strict. She will need to come back to uh, uh, approve the letter. Then I called, she said that she, has, she has not come back. And in that, in that period, I traveled to my parents' place. I saw that they have a secondary school. I approached the principal and I did my own school project there. Even when these people have not called, my real school have not called me, I left the place, saw another school. In fact, the truth is that my own school project, I did it in like three schools. The fourth school, there was no chance to go back, but the principal is still calling me. That's that the truth. 
And personally, right now, I feel that for the school that I have not reached out to, I feel that I'm being selfish. So I'm motivated to reach out to most schools that I can reach. And mm, thank you I'm, so much. Thank <laughs> you for that. We are proud of what you've done. I would just <laughs> like to read one or two um, feedbacks for on from our participants joining through YouTube. There is a comment from Amina Mohamed. The advocacy has given me the zeal to bring about positivity in the lives of people. No matter how small it is, things might appear small, but it means a lot to people. And there is another comment from Adibanjo Ibrahim Abiodun. He said that through the advocacy program, I was able to reach out to students within my locality as well, empowering them with the necessary skills to survive and protect the planet, creating student leaders, young leaders. Great one, thank you for that. Then there is another comment, um, just in a minute. Okay, from Sandra Anikpe. Absolutely, I got to learn in depth through this SDG program, becoming a part of climate action and education Truly honored to have been part of this court. Amina Hamed said, this is the best thing that happened to me in 2023, apart from good health and wellness. All right, uh, right about now, I would just like to, okay, I think I mentioned someone's name. That is Mubarak. Mubarak, please just let's have your comments in in a minute, then we move to the graduation proper. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Good evening. Uh, I am Mubarak Umar uh, Adama State Representatives. Um, this program has uh, exposed us to many uh, opportunities. It has uh, impacted us uh, significantly in uh, all ramifications because uh, from the beginning of this program, there were a lot of people that joined, a lot of uh, participants, and uh, but uh, at, as time goes on, many people began to uh, to drop out uh, because uh, many people thought uh, it is a it is a program that will uh, that people will be paid or there is money or. So um, what, what really inspired me in this program is that I have met people from my state, people like from the advocates, people that are willing to sacrifice, people that are willing to give back to the community, no matter how little it is. So that is actually a real privilege because if it were to gather people in the community, nobody would come. But uh, a program like this, is a good initiative that will bring people together and they will impact the community. We adopted uh, Life on Land, that is goal 15. We we did a, pl a planting, a, a tree planting campaign in Adamao State because Adamao State is one of the states with, uh, with highest temperature uh, due to the weather. We have a very hot weather. And in the in Adamao State, we actually have, we, do, we don't have a, uh, much trees because it is a, a desert like uh, area so we planted trees in many locations and people are very happy that we even selected their places for the tree campaign so i would like to use this opportunity to to thank on behalf of adama advocates to thank sdgs and sdsn for this opportunity we really appreciate thank you we look forward to our certificate and the end of the program. Okay, thank you very much, Mubarak. And um, thank you for everyone that has shared their feedback. Towards the end of the session, we are going to have the final lap of the feedback. But right about now, we are going straight to the graduation proper. But let me just lay this foundation because I know that many of us are always eager to know what next, what exactly we are going to be uh, expecting. Earlier, there was an uh, information co <clears throat> communicated to each and every state rep that you are to submit the names and emails 
an email address of each of the advocates in your state that participated in the community project. And true to be said, as reported by the project steering committee, many state reps defaulted on this. Some of you were expecting email and um, some of you are expecting that, okay, they are going to share this ahead of the event. This was what caused the delay and they are still on it. But right about now, they are going to be reading the names of graduating advocate for this court. And I'm going to say it that um, you don't have to panic. You don't have to panic. Maybe you didn't hear your name. Your name might actually be mentioned. You just have to be patient. And definitely we have some people that your name was not mentioned, maybe because you did it, you maybe you did the community projects and you didn't carry out your own in school projects. So, but definitely at the end of the day, the document is going to be shared with the entire group. You are going to see the list. But I would like to call on uh, one of the program manager in person of Ms. Esther Baba today as she reads the names of the graduating advocate for this squad. Over to you, Esther. Good evening, Professor. Good evening, my amigo coordinator, Mr. Emmanuel. And good evening to the advocates. Congratulations once again. So without further ado, I'll just go ahead to read the graduating names. Please, can we all hear me? Yes, absolutely. We can hear you. Okay, sir. So from Nasarawa State, we have Yaya Ibrahim Kaliu. From Abia State, Solomon Gifted Chikaudi. From Abuja, we have Amarachi Chike, Lilian Iwelu, Luakemi Ruth Olainka, Kadmil Madai, Umachuku Rachel Chineye, Uzokui Stanley Onyeka, Adiolu Joseph Adekunle, Iyo Dorin, Ezekiel Israel, Stefan um, Usa, Suleiman Yusuf Sada, still on Abuja State, I mean the FCT rather, Mary Pius Oji Paschal, Sunday Olumide Francis, Pioman Patience, Musa Humaru, Bawa Harab, Olatayo Samo Oluwadam Larry, Chizua Chinasa, Ojuma Chika Beauty, Adebayo Blessing, Omai, oh, sorry, Adebayo Blessing, O, Taiwo Tuluwa Nimi, Hamad Hanats Abdukarim, Ajayi Dokas Anuluwapo, Emmanuel Hagba, Mary Idoku, and Amina um, Ahmad Belu, um, then Gerald Ojim. These are uh, the graduating advocates from Abuja State. So moving forward to Adamawa State, Mary Ab Aburi, Daniel Haji Igoche, Uzaifa Yakubu, Shehu Arabu, Ernest Eban, Emmanuel Jackson, Adiza Muhammad Yahya, Joseph Hebel, Blessing Matthew, Emmanuel Nova, Novalga Joel, Mustafa Rabiu, Kama Iso Nimrod, Bulikisu Aminu, Mubarak Umal, uh, Rashida Sahad Usaini, Kawa Jonathan Gabriel, Oyeye Trinitas Ufondu, Gabriel Sukanem Joda, please, I hope I'm pronouncing the name to you, and uh, Awao Bajika, that's the last person from Adamawa State. So moving forward to Akwaibom, Faith Ezeo Gene, Atim Isaac, Good News Emunui, Akpan Ekot, um, Ebenezer Akpandem. There are some persons that will not be pronouncing maybe the other names, but I know you'll be able to identify yourselves through your first name and your last name so that I don't mispronounce your names. Okay, so we have, you don't guess it, Faris. A senior bong, Ige Ayobami Oluwa Bunu, Kalu Miracle Hama, Awa Victor Sunday, Ezani Antoni, and the last person from Anna. Okay, 
Oh, sorry, Akwaibom. The last person from Akwaibom State is Hawa Victor Sunday. So we have two persons from Anambra State. That is Izani Anthony and Arizi Chukudi Patrick. So moving to Bauchi State now. Umau Muhammad Lawau, Fatima Adamu Madaki, Abdullahi Angu Muhammad, Benjamin Uluwatubi Olariwaju, Suryom Gode Liman, Idris Shitu, and Eliaza Baku. From Bayelsa, we have Donald Opaku. Benry States, we have Jennifer Aoka, um, Terung, Terungwa James, and Ernest Habi. Moving to Cross River, Otedam Jumbo, okay. Sunday Odo Umeka, Essay Hona, Etsuk Queen Joseph, Ruth Abasi Okim. Moving to Edo State, Stella Oba Haburu, Ibinoba Stephen, Osarun Wense, Confidence, God First, Priye Bale, Hana Eluna Me Home. Then um, in Enugu states, we have Jerome Ubuchi, Ojile Samuel Kilechuku, Ufaja Chiamaka Blessing, Johnson Kileb Oyekachi, Ume Goke Bene um, Chinazo, Pasca Unwoga, Itiki Chibundo, and Chika Odili Miriam Onora. Moving to Imo State, Chukuma Chuks Ochize, Anita Ungozi Ude, I don't know if that's, that's a company name, Anita Ungozi Ude Samson, then Jude Chinaza Amarikwa. Jigawa State, we have Muri Blessing, Amina Muhammad Gambo, Habib Sani Dauda, Ismail Hamed Hisa. Hamed Muhammad Baban, Babandi and Abalaka Joshua Monde. From Kaduna State, we have Rahilatu Saliu, Maika Musa, Asmao Maharaza, Yasir S. Mikhail, Umaru Hassan, Yaya Haba, Isaac Prosper Friday and Ibrahim Abdullahi. Please, are we still together? Yeah, thank you very much, Yahon. You can just try and make it more faster as we have. Oh, yeah. right. Okay, yeah. sir. So Kano State, we have Usan Mahabufa, Aisha Habilaya, Adamu, Umar Muhammad Yasin, Fivo Christiana, Obuaju, Rukaya Jafar Sulaiman, Zairu Salisu Kabo, Abubakar Surambai Naziru Sulaiman Yakubu Zakira Abdullahi Adamu Af, Af, oh God, after Hana Dahiru Sarina uh, Miriam Kabir Abubakar Abdurrahman Hamina Sulaiman Ilyasu Haliu Ibrahim Nura Mustafa Balarabe Yusuf Amayao Yusuf Afsas Belo Ruma, Musa Ashim, and Haruna Hadamu Haruna. Moving to Katsina State, Ahmad Yakubu, Abubakar Dahiru, Ibrahim, Ilyasu, Ismail Siga, Miriam Abdu Afis, Alimatu Yusuf Sadiq, Suleiman Belo, Yusuf Aniche, Aminatu Aminu, Aminatu Aminu Kabir, Kabir Abdullahi, Asmao Yusuf Sadiq, Abdul Hakim Zubairu, Zubairu Muf, uh, Mukhtar Damusa, and Muhammad Salisu. From Kebi State, we have Ismail Issa and Monsu Muhammad. Kwara State, we have Adeboe Joy Ulubatwin. Moving down to Lagos State, we have a lot of Lagos State here. Philips Olatunde, Jesubi Mititi Layo, Rahi. Rabi Hats, Omoto Yossi Rabiu, Haide Loje, Peter, Oyiloi, Yunus Dosumu, 
chike ka chizu rum fobe uche chi joy uzondu hadini yisa olowa to sin hadini yonju oyin damola oye wo po adibayo samuel hapan esen victoria habiola agbele agbele ye jesu to fumi akin shola abdugani halao ode favor oluwa to mi lola richel ade lanwa ono oyeye ore oluwa ditula abdurazak abdullahi taiwo i'm still on lagos state olaiya ayomide and oluwa po oluwa po mi le rebecca he peace to the solar olawe izike oyinda mo la le ayin oluwa sunu muhammad musa po oluwa mu iwa handru hinyang hanabasi monsura hamad Idares it's Mercedes Hyeni. Ifelani Bisola, Ifelan sorry, Ifelano, Ifelano Bisola Hajarat, Oki Wale Esther, Benro Ruth, Oke Dele Samuel, Ola Oluwa, Miriam Idioma, Umokoye, Olani David Adinyoju, Ajoku Chizoban Blessing, Friday Kofi Adriga, Lawao Aziz, Julius Nora Epeno, Olumi De Messi. Afola Bimusba Olakuli, Ido Wumotura Kikelomo, Headed Blessing C, Unwakwe Margaret, Hadin Olu Oyeni Yi, Debura Uluashi, you have to get again, Oyeni Yi, O Debura Uluashi, Adeshida Thompson, Chisom Stella, Oye Buchi, Kalejae doing Cecilia, Akimbui Fatimo, Iabo, Ala de Jebi Love. Haliu Gani Gani as Aramide, Haisha Busayo Dada and Bakari Fuhad Olami Posi. Nasarawa states we have Salu Banabas, we share um research room. From Niger State, we have Kadijat Muhammad, Alaji Uma Undagi Heba, and Adua Abdul Wasiu Abdul Kadim. Ogun states we have Olajide Modupe Sera, Adibanjo Ibrahim Abiodun, Ogundare Wumi Elizabeth, Olajide Dami Arbe Daniel, Ubana Joseph, Adiuti Olushola, Jayola Dibura, Adiwumi Hayodeli, Abolaji Kende Mutiu, Oko Augustine Uchena Emperu, um, Ekweme Emmanuel Uchima, Lawao Latif Remileku, Rachel Fifamen, Fatuyi Mayowa Joy, James Esther Abiodun, Janice Lamin Hamuta, Francis Dobechuku Okuzu, and Abiola Ayomidi Samu. Moving to Ogondo State now, Adekonyi Fami Fuminihi Peter, Mustafa Tunde Wasiu, Adebite Emos Adewale, Adebola Tolulope, Madu Christiana. And Ocean States, we have Adeleke Iyanoluwa, Adewoni, Adelowo, Adefisayo, Ola is Isaiah Damilari, Adetola Christopher, Ajasa Dokas Motorayo, Gloria Hoolabi, Popola Yemisi Abosedi, and Kit Frank. Oyo State, we have Ojo Tantoluwa Faithfulness, Okoye Tolulope, Uche George Chibweze, Ola Kulengi Oluwa Kayode, Adebusuyi, Adebisi Okoyemi Aminas, David Oyelami, Igbeola, Esther Doluwanimi, Oluwa Sheyi Abola, Goodness Daniels, Oluwa Dun Sin Bolaji, Fadudu, Victor Babatunde, Mutunwayo Esther, Oshore, Then Plateau States, we have Christine uh, Vihishma M, Kitgag Simon, Usman Hadam, Michael, Dabong Tankat, Philibus Ephraim Helam, and Nkechi Sandra Anipi. River State, we have Abdurrahim Sadiq Kendi, Patrick Inegite, Amarachi Precious Sunday, Mikau Nimat Etim, okay, Nikam Nimat Etim Asuko, Miracle God's Will, Victor Beautiful. Hats Kilechi Tengod, Alex Samu Nomi Egbam, Ediye Endem Basi. Uh, moving to Shokoto State, Abubakar Muhammad Randa, Johanna Kanajima, Muhammad Belu, Yobe State, Muhammad Baba Adamu, 
Yusuf Muhammad Saidu, Muhammad Sani Abubaka and Abubaka Adamu. And the last day here we have Zamfara State, Nafisat Abdullahi, Musa Ibrahim, Hadi Yawal, Abdullahi Sadiq, and Abdullahi Umar. Congratulations to everyone once again. Thank you. Thank you very much, Esther, for this wonderful reading. I would like to <coughs> invite Professor Labode Kukola as he confers the certificate of honor as SD advocate and change makers to the names that have been read. Over to you, sir. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now, sir. Uh, Hello, Prof. Okay. Can you hear me, please? Okay, we can hear you Hello? now, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. We, we Hello. can hear. We can, you can hear me. We can hear well, you. Um, on behalf of the yes, on behalf of the Sustainable Development Solutions Network, I admit all of you into this very privileged group. I wish you all the very best, and uh, please keep the flag flying. Thank you. Thank you very much, Prof. And really appreciate. And I would just quickly like to state one or two things because I've been seeing comments, I've been seeing, okay, let me say congratulations to everyone. Congratulations, congratulations. Keep the, okay, I believe we can all unmute our mic. We can all unmute our mic and uh, say congratulations. You can all unmute your mic from wherever you are. And say congratulations to everyone. Congratulations. 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 Okay, congratulations, everyone. And um, I, I'm glad that all the state representatives are here to say congratulations to their team members. And I must truly commend all the state representatives for their resilience and leadership. I believe that this is a, this is a growth process, development process for each and every one. I always say this, that when you're working with a team, it takes, it takes patience, it takes perseverance. And it takes good uh, motivation to be able to coordinate, most especially when you are working with a great multitude uh, number of people. Okay, I just quickly want to respond to one or two things which we need to know that there are some advocates that participated in the community development projects, but do not have a own in school report. You did not carry out your own in school projects. Sorry, you are not going to be certified because you didn't do that. It's very paramount and that was one of the things that was mentioned during the um, onboarding session. It's very important to participate across all the end, across the entire project. And I could, I read, a, I read a comment from one of the state representatives where he asked that, uh, let me go back there, he said, Anna Brass supposed to be theory advocate. I hope the form will be reopened for submission. Earlier last week, it was communicated that each and every advocate should ensure that their name is well documented in the reporting template uh, in the reporting in the report which your state representative submitted. And even one of the major challenge which the project team for this program are currently having is many advocates, the, their name formats on the report template for community development projects is different from their name formats on what they used to register. 
so please to this effect um they are going to share a list like the names that were that, that that was read recently we are going to share the list with you for people that defaulted due to one reason or the other you are going to see it in front that maybe you have issues with only school projects or maybe you carried out on a school project, you didn't participate in a community project, you are going to see the reason why maybe your name was not mentioned. And maybe you had issues with assessments or... But it's very important that once this is... There, there are deadlines to each of these activities. Once this is cleared, we are also going to open a room again for you to adjust your name. For you to adjust your name the way you want it on your certificates. The certificates are out already, but we always give a room for advocates to give um, to adjust if there is a need for them to maybe it's your first name, you always prefer your surname. You are going to have like 24 to 48 hours to do that. Please, once that form is out, ensure you do, the, do it at the stipulated time. And another thing I also noted is please work certification after the after the deadline for the name adjustment certification process. You are going to receive your certificate, and most importantly, for those of us that are not yet on the LinkedIn community, it's very important. And uh, let me tell you, you you mentioned someone mentioned that uh, they would like to sustain their project. They would like to connect. Definitely, uh, there are a lot of leaders, there are a lot of people that are still going to check those and definitely more with that they are going to, just like prof in your states. So if you've not your updates on the LinkedIn community page, go we have we have um, 400 participants on that community page, which should be more than that. So, and we are not going to be very rigid. Well, that we say that if you don't do that, you are not going to receive your certificate. No, I believe we are all, um, we are working with responsible and mature Nigerians. So please, it's very needed. It's very important for you to do it. And if you have any issue, please, speak to your state representative. Maybe your name was omitted and you submitted your report and you participated in a committee project, you have to hold your state representative responsible for that. And I know definitely your state representative is going to, um, is going to work on that. I think, okay, um, I might need to respond to, but basically those are, those are the information I have to share from our hand. Uh, I would just like to appreciate each and every one. And firstly, I want to thank God for seeing us through this court. And this project started, was initiated last year. And here we are in the of the new set of advocates graduating, going, going into the world. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, you just have to, it's a purpose which we are all called to fulfill. Definitely, we know that we it's, um, in one way or the other, we are, we are, we are bringing in our, our time, our, our knowledge to ensure that these communities, these schools, these students are well educated about the SDGs. And sincerely, we still have a lot of work to do. I appreciate the first course that are still working with their school. And I'm also going to appreciate each and every advocate on this call that are ready to take this further. I remember that in Ogun State, in Ogun State, um, they sent a list, like a list of eight schools to me recently that they want us to write an introduction letter. They want to engage and set up the SDG clubs in Ogun State, and which are um, doing everything possible to see how we can support and achieve that. So if you have any such request from your state, yeah, it's highly welcome. And for the SDG Advocate Program is basically on three objectives. And the very first objective is the learning part, which you are to have theoretical knowledge about SDGs, which you already had. And the second one is incorporating sustainable development into schools nationwide, which we have already done. And the third aspect is to develop, which we developed, and it's also the youth networks across 
the nation. So at this point in time, we are also going to say that please don't keep, uh, don't stop the good work, keep the work, good work, keep it continue, let it continue. And also, I just have to say this, it's very important. We'll be moving each and every advocate of this court to the alumni page. So we also have another Texas State alumni page for the SD Advocate Program. So the current page you are currently, you are as we speak, you have just less than 14 days on that page whereby we are going to move you all to the alumni page in your state. And also there is going to be, you are also going to join for the graduating sets of this course, you are also going to have your own alumni page whereby you can get to connect with each other and share learning with each other. I believe it's been a wonderful time this evening and I would just like to, um, request from Prof. If he has, uh, definitely I know that he will have one or two closing remarks before we end today's call. I want to express my joy about uh, what I'm uh, seeing and what I'm hearing. It's actually throwing up bigger challenges for us. And uh, Emmanuel, you have to discuss with me we are building a community of practice and it's even getting bigger than we had thought. So we have to find a way of keeping these people together and they're working together. Uh, one thing I would like to say is this, if any one of you or any group from this uh, cohort and the other cohort, if you apply for anything and you need a reference, please do not hesitate to reach us so that we can do a reference for you, uh, it can fetch you opportunities. It could be a small grant, it could be a job, a short-term job, just request for a reference from us and we will gladly write it. So once again, I wish all of you all the very best. Uh, have a very good time. Bye-bye for now. Thank you very much, Pro. So Emmanuel, I have to sign out. I'm, I'm joining another meeting in a moment. I have to sign out. All right, that's fine, sir. Thank you for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Okay, then. Okay, then. And okay. Uh, okay, someone asked that I would like to. It's coordinators and directors so that the state advocates can apply. That's fine. And uh, we are going to see to that. And please be informed the registration, the, the registration for the third quarter is still on. Uh, it's going to close 9th of April. Please do all and share with your network across the states, which uh, we believe it's going to be of great benefit. Thank you, everyone. We wish you a prosperous and uh, more successful endeavor in the forthcoming future. So regarding um, those who didn't add their names and you could confirm that you did your own school project, but maybe your name was missing during the community project reporting, please reach out to your state representative and uh, the program managers are going to communicate to the state representatives on what exactly they are to do. Definitely, I know that there is a Google form in, in, in line to that which you can submit your complaints or your request, or definitely if it's going to be via email. But please reach out to your state representative before the end of the day, and definitely the program managers are going to pick it up from there. All right, thank you, everyone. It's been a wonderful time. It's been a great session, an amazing time, which uh, personally I had with you all. Thank you, and thank you for choosing to be part of this call. Definitely, I, in fact, I'm happy that in court one, we have some of Quote one, which are already part of the executive member, I mean the team for SGSN Youth in Nigeria, and also the one way or the other part of the alliance which we are setting up across the Texas state. This, I believe, the core two advocates are going to do better and you keep the good work continue. All right, we wish you a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Hi to the Christians, happy Easter, and to our Muslim brethren, happy Ramadan. Cheers.